Um, as, um, as she mentioned before, I am an actor and comedian, and I'm currently in rehearsals for SpongeBob SquarePants as a sea creature. Now, to start off, I have a little question for all of you. If I'm playing a sea creature and I need a lobster roll, does that make me a cannibal? <laughs> no, but really. Um, yeah, this past year has been really, really good for me. Um, I got back into acting again after COVID, which was amazing. But on the flip side, I had to move in with my mom, which is exactly what every 33-year-old man wants to do. <laughs> Um, yeah, but the reason I moved in with my mom is because my apartment was kind of a disaster. Um, let's just say my apartment was full of a bunch of Karens and not my mom, who liked to whine and moan and complain about everything. And, and so I like watching Jerry Springer but until recently, I didn't realize I was living in that show. Like, here's, like, here's druggy number one and druggy number two, and they're fighting over the same guy. Um, yeah, but, um, um, yeah. Well, we're waiting for the first art place house to be built. My mom and I have been looking at me moving in with a, div a bunch of different families, and we've um, finally found one. However, I'm not going to be telling them about you, you about them tonight. I'm going to be telling, them that, telling you guys about someone else. So we interviewed this one young couple who we thought were going to be a good match for me, but we kept, just kept seeing a bunch of red flags after red flag. And then we just finally said, stop, no more. And, um, yeah, but this one red flag was they wanted to move me up to a tiny town in central New Hampshire, I think. But anyway, they, um, um, this town was so tiny, Cumberland Farms qualified as a restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, like I said earlier, I got back into acting at the Strand in Dover, New Hampshire. I was in the Adams Family Musical. I played the Adams' ancestor, which was a lot of fun. And for the, un and for the uninitiated, the Adams' ancestors are basically um, um, a group of dead people who hang around and just watch everything and comment on the action. Yeah. So, let's just say if the Adams House was an Airbnb, I wouldn't want to live there <laughs> or stay there. Um, 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 I can just imagine like me ha having a phone conversation with my mom and being like, oh, hey, sorry mom, I gotta go. Julius Caesar is staring at me with his cold, dead eyes. <laughs> um, yeah, but that was a lot of fun. I, I, I got to play Julius Caesar. Um, yeah, um, um, opening night I received an injury, I, um, so going backstage after one of the musical numbers, um, I, tr um, I tripped over a piece of cinder block and cut my head open, oh my and, yeah, <laughs> um, um, everyone was kind of gathered around me for a second, and then I was, sitting up and I real and then the actor playing Gomez said um is that blood and I thought I was talking about ma my makeup so I'm like no it's not blood and then and then I touched my head and I realized that I was bleeding so basically some people had fake blood I bought my own <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, but SpongeBob visuals have been a lot of fun. Um, it's my first time working with a cast of mostly children, which has been um, interesting to say the least. Um, let's just say I was 
um, let her up her show early, and um, the phone conversation that I had with my mom went something like this. Hey mom, I need you to come and pick me up. What? I can't hear you. There's kids screaming in the background, by the way. Um, I said, I need you to pick me up. Okay, okay. Um, see you soon. Bye. Hey, can you stop it with the crazy noise? Yeah. Um, yeah, but that's been a lot of fun. I, I, I love doing musicals. I was in my church choir for an interview singing bass and um, singing. Um, I, I, in case you aren't aware, bass is the lowest vocal part, so you have to sing like this um, and hit all those um, high notes. But in Adam's family, we had everything from bass to soprano one, which is the highest. And when you're singing next to a high soprano, it can sound something like this. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Um, yeah, but that was a ton of fun. Um, um, I, um, I hope you, you enjoyed the rest of the comedians and thank you all so much.